This is Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and we are joined by Jeff Prang. He is the assessor for the County of Los Angeles. Sir, I congratulate you. I haven't you. seen you since your victory, and it's been several months now. How's your new job? It's been, uh, been uh, over six months now. You're right. Things are going really, really well. We were able to put together a really strong team, uh, management team, uh, enjoying very uh, strong support from the Board of Supervisors for the major initiatives that I'm uh, that I've introduced, and I'm uh, feeling pretty good about the direction the office is going, particularly in the wake, as you recall, right. of the scandal that uh, involved my predecessor. And let's do talk about that, because times were very rocky right. just a couple years ago. Uh, your predecessor has been indicted. Yes. What's stunning is you were brought in before your election That's to true. try to right the ship, and so you lived through a lot of that misery. That's right. I right. lived through, through the, the, the deepest, darkest right, days. Exactly. I was part of the reform team to help right. right the ship, and now I have the uh, the honor of being the uh, the department head to ensure that those uh, that those reforms, that those measures right. that will increase transparency and accountability, are being put into place. And let's talk about being a department head of a department in a county of 10 million people. Right. If it were a state, it would be just bigger than your home state of Michigan. That's right. And so this is not an insignificant position. And you move from right. the city of West Hollywood with, what, 50,000 people? 35,000. 30, okay, so, yeah. So I now run the largest local uh, public assessment right. agency in the nation. We have 1,400 employees. We have a budget of nearly $200 million. And we are responsible for establishing the value for 2.6 right. million parcels of property every year, which is the foundation of the uh, county's property tax system. Truly. It's the largest source of uh, discretionary revenue that L.A. County generates to pay for programs such as fire, roads. Right. But you had worked in the assessor's office yes. before. It's not as if, you know, you're well, Paul is like, oh, I'm going to run for countywide right. office in the 90s. I, I knew you in the 90s. You worked for the assessor. So, I had experience in the property right. tax system previously. Okay. So now you're in office. Tough times before you arrived with your predecessor. Even aside from those tough times, I'm sure that you want and have wanted to put your stamp on the office right. to try to move it into the 21st century. Your predecessor may have wanted to do that, but you know he got caught up quickly. And so has the office moved into the 21st century? We are moving into moving. the 21st century. Uh, the biggest issue we have, you know, we sh are really a information-based office, which right. means we should be technology-based. Right. But our technology, a lot of our technology goes back to the 60s and the 70s. The two and a half million parcels that we assess annually, believe it or not, they're each still associated with a paper file. Come on. Uh, I, <laughs> Come on. I swear, um, paper, we, we are still a uh. largely a paper-based organization. We have an old mainframe, green screen, DOS-based system. However, replacing the system is our most, my most important initiative. Right. We have uh, uh, been working on it for a couple of years, even prior to my, my election. Mm. We estimate it's going to be a four to five year project okay. in, in, with a budget of about $80 million. No, and just recently, the Board please. of Supervisors invested the first installment of $20 million to, to invest in software and development services to get this project running. What it means for the taxpayers is yes. that if you call into my office and have a problem with your property, whoever answers the phone will have all the data at their fingertips building documents, ownership information, uh, building information. Whereas today, if you call in, you might be referred to uh, different offices. Right. You might be referred to a district office. It might take a day or two for them to respond to your call because they got to go dig through these files of paper files. Uh, we're digitizing all of our property files. This is a huge project for us. It means it will be better for our employees in terms of productivity. But importantly, it would be important for customer sure. service. The question becomes, you got the first installment of $20 million, you need another 60. Yes. How do you ensure that that keeps coming down the pike? Well, my job is to ensure that we move this project right. along successfully and persuade the Board of Supervisors that this is the right investment. Once we get in, it will be very difficult to, sure. to, to, to go back. They, uh, the board, you know, but there's another element why Please. it's important about the assessor's office. You know, we usually think about... Um, the assessor as it relates to our property value. The assessor is not a revenue department. We don't send you your tax bill. You don't send your taxes to the assessor. Those go to another another person, another department, the tax collector. Uh, right, uh, and but, who uh, is who? Joe Kelly. Uh, not elected. Not elected, appointed by the Board of Supervisors. He is the treasurer tax collector of the county. So, uh, but there is an element, uh, while, while, while I, my department is not a revenue department, 
revenue is a byproduct of our efficiency. So the we, we need to be as efficient as possible. Our job is to locate and identify all taxable property in the county. If we're not locating and identifying all taxable property, that means that there are tax dollars that the government is entitled to that are not being collected. So technology will help us to meet that, uh, that goal. I know in other counties, they have started to consolidate departments like yours. So you'd be the assessor, treasurer, t tax collector. Yeah. Is it time for LA County to look at that? I don't think that will be the case in LA County. We're simply too big. Um, mm. Each of those departments are, um, uh, are right. very large departments that uh, that mixing functions I don't think but, would be But it can be tricky efficiency. as a customer, and I'm speaking from personal experience. It is. Where, you know, uh, there's so, an issue and so you... I understand. You, you so know. a couple of things. One is I, I do recognize that everybody thinks that my office is the tax, tax right. collector's office. So our public service personnel are, are actually pretty good at answering those questions. Right. We are doing a couple of things. We're creating a, a one-stop website, online website, that will help people understand how the tax system works and it will direct you through appropriately to the department that you need to speak with. We are also opening in the Hall of Administration a one-stop public counter so if you come to my office with a tax bill issue um, at our counter we can refer you to the counter right next door which is the tax right. collector's office to get these issues resolved. We know it's complicated, there are many departments in the property tax chain. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're all, all my, my fellow department heads and I are all committed to making sure right. that we make it as easy and as intuitive as possible. As you know, in 1978, the voters passed what was known as Prop 13, right. and it changed the way we pay property taxes. Uh, it essentially set levels at 1978 if you already own that property, and after that, property taxes could only rise by a certain amount right. uh, each and every year. So there has been some discussion about whether we should keep Prop 13 protections for residential, but look at creating a different role for commercial and industrial. Right. And why, the argument goes, that residential uh, properties are you know, your, your castle, whereas right. with commercial and industrial, they can stay in families for years. Right. And so these folks are getting pre-1978 property tax bills that are a pittance right. of what they should or could be. That's the argument. Holly Mitchell, state senator, is looking to change it. W w what's happening? W what can you tell us about it? Well, there's a constitutional amendment that's been proposed that would create a split role mm -hmm. that would deal with residential property different than commercial industrial. Um, it will require a two-thirds vote of the legislature, two-thirds vote of the uh, right. of of the public. I think the most important thing that I can do as assessor and that other assessors can do is as subject matter experts in terms of mm. the implementation of Prop 13 to provide information so everybody understands what the impacts will be. Uh, we did a, a brief analysis of a, of a split role mm -hmm. a couple of years ago which indicated that uh, LA County probably today is not capable of managing a split role, the assessor's office. Our old technology would not be able to handle the, the, the large really? uh, amount of data that, because right now we, uh, we only assess property upon a transfer. If we, this, the, the constitutional amendment proposed by the uh, senator right. would require that we assess commercial property annually. So, so, so the databases that we, are, the, the, the old mainframe right. system can't handle that amount of data we can with the new systems up right. in place, and we're preparing for that in our in our development. We cannot today. That's a that's four to five years out. The other thing is, um, when you're hiring a, a real estate appraiser, a government real estate appraiser, they're not. It takes for a commercial industrial appraiser at least three years, probably closer to five years before they can actually function. Uh, we believe that so we would need to hire several hundred more appraisers so in order it, to accomplish we that. Need a, we need some lead time if this is going to happen, in your it's, mind. It's, it's, not, it's not a tomorrow project, right. it's a five to ten year project. His name is Jeff Prang, he is the assessor for Los Angeles County. My name is Brad Pomerantz, you are watching Charter Local Edition.